Morning, everybody. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing great right now, but I know by the end of this, I'm going to be losing my mind because today we're going to be taking a look at JTEC's reaction to the Xbox showcase, or more specifically, the Indiana Jones segment. Now, I originally wanted to do this video before the PAL World one, but then I decided, you know what? Strike while the iron's hot. We got to get that out there. And then I was just going to cover this on stream, which we did. We had our first ever salt stream a few days ago, and it was an absolute blast. Please be sure to come to the next one if you can. Can. They're gonna be every Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern. And let's just say me and Kaden absolutely lost it reacting to these clips. So I knew I had to make a video out of it. I know it's a bit late. I know this video probably won't do absurdly well or anything, but I just have to make it for my own sake. Because what we're about to go over rivals the levels of denial and coping we saw from Harmon Smith over Pal World. Yes, it's that bad. So instead of me telling you how bad it is, why don't I just show you? Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this i've seen textures like this on human skin um on uncharted i believe it was uncharted 3. these are not Damn. good the fact, the fact that you went that the fact that you went that far back God. why i'm just being honest where i saw these textures Man, what a fantastic start. He zoomed in on the textures in the trailer because as we all know, what matters is how good the textures look when you zoom in on them. Jay, have you ever played a PS3 game before? This looks way better than any PS3 game. Even after you zoomed in, it doesn't even look pixelated or anything. You can see all the individual little hairs and freckles. You can see the little creases in the knuckles as well. Like this does not look like a PS3 game. Instantly, I'm getting flashbacks to when the Halo Infinite gameplay was revealed. And there was that one video of that guy saying it looks like a PS2 game. Like, I'm pretty sure people are up the graphics of old games in their minds and then tricking themselves into thinking they look this good. It's so stupid. Also, you may have noticed that Jay is eating fast food of some kind. Yeah, just get ready for a lot of that and get ready for a lot of finger licking as well. Like, look, man, I know there's the phrase finger licking good out there, but that doesn't mean you have to do it on camera. Get a napkin or even use your pants or something, please. <laughs> For human skin. Hey, no, 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 the, no. The reason I say that is because Uncharted 3 is a last, not even a last, last. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, are you looking at the collar? I mean, on the. Uh, oh, on I the, am. Are you looking at the wrist right here? Oh, I've seen, I'm just, I've seen it. I've no, seen no, no, it. no, no. You didn't see me zoom in, though. Now, just keep w wait until you call, get caught up. <laughs> I am caught up. Is that next to him? Oh, the God never said the game was. Is that good? You're right, but that's not That shit look flat. Wow, clothing looks flat, you don't say. Plus, I love how our concern in this trailer isn't the gameplay or the story or the voice acting or anything like that. It's how next-gen the cuffs look. Literally, who cares? You had to pause the trailer and zoom in to even notice that something might be slightly wrong. And even then, you say it's flat. Yeah, clothing is flat. I can't believe I'm about to do this. Like, I never actually in a million years would have thought I would do this. But here's a picture of shirt sleeves. Besides the parts where they like bunch up, doesn't it look pretty flat? It's almost like clothing is flat unless you like roll it up or something. Why am I even arguing over the logistics of next gen shirt sleeves and cuffs? This is how desperate these guys are to make Xbox look bad. Now we're zooming in on shirt sleeves in trailers and saying, oh damn bro, that doesn't look next gen. Because if there's one thing I'm worried about in an Indiana Jones game, it's how good his shirt shirt sleeves look in one shot of a trailer. How do you unironically do stuff like this and take yourself seriously? Like, that's a genuine question that I'm probably not gonna get an answer to, let's be honest. What I say, guys, they make these games first person so they don't have to spend as much money on the budget and, and time, effort with the animations. Exactly. It's, perfect for their, it's perfect for their Game Pass strategy and their more with less strategy. <laughs> No, hear me out. They're not doing first person to save money. They're doing first person because this is Machine Games, a studio that has only made first person games. And the game isn't only first person. There are third person moments, mainly when you're like climbing or doing some exploration or something like that. Your camera switches to third person. This is not a strategy to save money. And even if it was, how much money would they reasonably save by going to first person? You still have to animate most of 
of the body because you can still see a lot of it in first person. The developers even go into describing how the camera angle changes as you play the game later on. This wasn't some decision to fit the Game Pass strategy and cut costs. It was a creative decision the developers made because they pretty much only make first person games, but they still wanted some more cinematic third person moments. But no, apparently it's some devious plan to cut costs. <laughs> a game pass. Good old thought to you. It looks like Uncharted 4 about to win this shit. Hey, our people are already started comparing it. I'm, I'm but think kidding. about it. If the games were third person, they would look even worse. Y'all know I'm right, though. If the games were third person, they would look worse. This like, shit about to be funny. Because this is Star Attraction. I'm critiquing the fuck out of this game. Oh, trust me, Jay. I think anybody who's seen your channel before knows that you will be critiquing the hell out of this game. And why? Because it's an Xbox game. I mean, hell, you already zoomed in on the cuffs because they weren't next-gen enough for you. But then putting that aside for a second, this guy says that if the games were third-person, they would look worse. How does that even make sense? So when they're first-person, they're trying to save money and cut costs, but when they're third-person, they'll look even worse. I'm currently playing Red Dead 2, in third person as you can see right here are you telling me that if i just switched the camera to first person it would magically look even better no because contrary to what you believe the camera angle or the perspective or whatever does not affect the graphics i legitimately cannot think of a single game that looks worse in third person logic is long gone in these streams these guys just have those dvd logos bouncing around in their head and each time it hits a wall of their skull they say a random thought and hope that it's somewhat logical, which most of the time it is not. Oh, yeah, you do. Fuck out of here. This game, <laughs> this game going head to head with Uncharted 4. <laughs> Fight me on that. Anybody in the chat, say, say something stupid game. in the chat. I dare you. You say something stupid, I will start the fucking Uncharted 4 uh, um, uh, game on, uh, on a brand new, and we'll start looking at the cutscenes, all that shit. And I guarantee you nobody gonna be able to do it. Nobody gonna be able to do oh, it better no, than no. fucking Naughty Dog. I mean, Jay, at this point, you should be used to people saying stupid things in the chat. I mean, to you, anything that's negative against PlayStation and positive towards Xbox counts as stupid. And I love how all these guys are like, oh, this game's going head-to-head -head with Uncharted 4. Because they have the same general premise, which is go into, like, a temple or something and loot it. It's very obvious from all the gameplay we've seen of this game that besides that one core aspect, this game and Uncharted are going to be nothing nothing alike. Plus, this game going head-to-head -head with Uncharted would imply that they were coming out at the same time, which Uncharted 4 is eight years old. This game comes out later this year, so yeah. Uncharted and Indiana Jones may be going head-to-head -head in your mind, but definitely not in actuality. I'm not saying you can't compare the two at all, but again, it's very obvious these games are going to be very different from each other. What makes they think um, Indiana Jones would not pose it? Maybe it's a freaking... He's exploring fucking this sh why this shit looks so last gen. It looks so last gen, so generic. Why does it look so Bro. I know I know their engine and it's definitely their engine and it's definitely machine games. It's like machine games has a good engine and it do look good. It not the best engine and the shit's not like you know, but you could tell it's their engine and it does look good. Right? It's really just the lighting that looks good. Yeah, know. it's the lighting. But, ah, oh, nah, bro. It looks fine. It's not the most stunning graphics ever, but it looks fine. I don't know why you're so obsessed with the graphics in these games. Plus, I love how we'll pause and zoom in on parts that don't look absolutely incredible. But when we see the really good looking like wood and the leaves, like that one part in the trailer where he puts like the wheel on the stone wall and then it starts turning, that part looks ridiculously realistic. But no, we won't stop and compliment that. We only stop and zoom in when something looks bad. Quote, quote unquote bad, but not when it actually looks good. There's terms like selective outrage, but what would you call it in this case? Selective, selective, selective praise. I think that's what we'll call it. The selective praise in these clips is incredible. What I'm seeing is a lot of fucking cutscenes. It wasn't they the ones that said they don't like, they uh, we have nothing but movie games, but this entire yeah, fucking but... presentation has been cutscene after cutscene. Bro, for real. 
And the first person doesn't look good either. Some of their other games were much better. The Wolfenstein games. This is not... This this game should not have been a first person. And, and just being 100% serious, no console war shit. I think they should have been more true to what this game should have been. And it should have been third person. And why is that what the game should have been? Why should it have been third person? Is it because you wanted it to be more like Uncharted? I mean, let's be real. That's exactly what the reason is. Also, it's hilariously ironic to me that he's complaining, oh, there's so many cutscenes when he's literally watching gameplay as he's saying that. Like, as he's saying, oh, don't they say we have movie games? This is only cutscenes. He's watching gameplay. And how does the first person look worse than their other games? In what way does Indiana Jones's first person look worse? Worse than Wolfenstein's first person? That's a genuine question because you keep saying, oh, this looks worse than their other games, but like, how does it look worse? And going back to the thing he said where he's like, oh, they say we only have movie games. Having cutscenes in your game does not equal movie game, especially not in a trailer. Remember, this is a trailer from the game. Of course, there's going to be a lot of cutscenes. People call Sony games movie games because in a lot of cases, the cutscenes are like half of the gameplay. You can't take a trailer for a game and say, oh, look at all these cutscenes, but I thought we had the movie games. If the game actually comes out and then like half of it is cutscenes, then sure, then you can say that. But until then, that statement doesn't even make sense. Why switch to third person during certain segments and, and not just keep it third person? I think that shows that they didn't want to make those fighting animations and shooting animations. Um... They probably cut cut it out. There probably was going to be a third-person game, and they wouldn't have it happen. You're definitely right. I give you a W on that game's fraternity, even though you've been getting a lot of fucking L's lately. No, he's not definitely right. Machine Games makes first-person games. And again, they explain it a little later in the direct, but the reason it goes to third-person sometimes is for the more cinematic moments. I mean, this is a game based off of a movie, after all. It's not like there was gonna be a third-person, but then they were like, oh, wait, this is too much money. Because, like I said earlier, you're still gonna be seeing a lot of the animations. When your character fires a gun and it recoils back in your arm, you still see that. When you're punching somebody in the face, you still see that. When you're using the whip and dragging somebody towards you, you see that. And these guys are gonna look especially stupid if you're able to look down and see your legs. Because if anything, that would prove they went through extra effort. Because there's plenty of games where you look down and you don't see your body. Because ultimately, that's not really important. Now, look, I feel like I should clarify. I do think that there should be a third person option, like you can switch between third and first. But I also don't think the first person decision is this massive deal. I think the only person who's had like a legit argument against it was Erica because she gets motion sick with first person games. But besides that, it feels like pretty much everybody else just wants this game to be more like Uncharted. Man, that ain't nah, bro. Nah, nigga. That was weak. That's what, that's what PlayStation fans supposed to be scared of? That shit was weak. You know, the mentality of console fanboys will never cease to boggle my mind. These guys think that every single thing the competing platforms are putting out should make them scared. Like, I pulled this clip up on stream, but I'm gonna play it again here because this clip just perfectly describes how they want to feel about the competing platforms' games. Oh, oh, scary! Oh, 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 shiver my timbers! Shut up, man! Not every game that Xbox puts out is meant to scare you. Hell, none of them are meant to scare you. Just like PlayStation's games aren't supposed to scare Xbox gamers. Oh no, that game. Oh no, uh, God of War Ragnarok. It's too good. Uh, shiver me timbers. Like, that's not how this works. At most, these games are meant to scare the actual competing platforms, not the players themselves. Why are companies not allowed to just put out good games? Why does every single one have to be like a tech technical spectacle, or it has to strike fear into the hearts of the players on the other platforms. Like, it's never enough for these guys. And again, that's what makes them fanboys, so what am I even saying? Y'all niggas not even eating McDonald's. What the fuck is that? What are y'all eating? Illegal. Whatever. Eat I don't care. Illegal. They're not even eating McDonald's. Damn. God damn. I don't even know what they eat. That's now that's disrespectful. Right? I don't care. Dang. 
Now we are criticizing the devs choice of food. What is wrong with these guys? Oh my god. We've gone from zooming in on the games and looking at the cuffs of shirts to now zooming in on fast food in real life. Plus, why do you have a problem with them not getting McDonald's? Chick-fil-A is so much better. Whatever, why am I even arguing this? They live in Sweden. I don't know what that food was, but it probably wasn't something that's in America. Whatever, why am I arguing about this? What am I doing? What is wrong with me? I have to get away from this. Okay, next clip. I feel... Do you feel like this is, is a little bit lazy, their technique? And their... Their their whole strategy behind how they make their game? I mean, because if this is how they're doing it, I, I kind of see why it's not going to reach the level of Uncharted. And no, I would, uh, I, no would Xbox, I would love Xbox, Xbox fans to fight. Because that's the thing. Uncharted 4 has been out for a long time. We have the game on PS5. I would not pick a fight with the PlayStation Nation right now. We have a game you guys do not. We can make that game look bad. Uh, I'm gonna lose it. I swear to God, I am going to lose my mind in a second. What is happening? Why are we criticizing the way the devs get 3D models? Now it's lazy to get a real life scan of an object that you're going to put in your game. Why does this matter to you? Why? Isn't this how a lot of devs make objects in their games look really realistic? You get a real life scan of it? But nope, that's not allowed anymore according to JTech because that's lazy. You have to make everything from scratch and Blender 1.0. And what do you mean this is why it's not going to reach the levels of Uncharted? In terms of what? Graphics? Gameplay? What are you talking about? I guarantee they did similar things to this for Uncharted. Do you actually think they just went into whatever software they used to make their assets and made every single thing from scratch? No, obviously not. That would take forever. Now, I don't know if what I'm about to describe is what's going on with that shirt scanning or whatever, but have you ever heard of photogrammetry? I know it was especially prevalent in like Star Wars Battlefront 2 where like they get actual scans of the environments and then they drop them into the game and that's how they look so good. Like this is not lazy. This is just how it works. This is like saying a businessman is lazy for using a calculator instead of writing out all the math on a piece of paper. Like who cares how they do it as long as they get the job done? Oh, that's right. These guys because they have to find every little reason to nitpick anything about Xbox. It's definitely you know taking inspiration from uncharted but they want to put keep it in first person and like you said earlier before the stream i think it would have been better in, in vr but xbox doesn't currently have a dedicated vr headset I mean, yeah, a VR mode would definitely be cool with this game, but even as somebody who has a VR headset and a perfectly capable computer, I don't think I would do that. But whatever, putting the whole VR thing aside, because obviously the only way this game's getting a VR mode is either with mods or maybe they'll add one in the future to PC. It's absolutely hilarious that he says, oh, they're taking inspiration from Uncharted, when Uncharted was heavily inspired by Indiana Jones. And again, in terms of how this game plays, especially with the first person, this game looks completely different different than Uncharted. Plus, the devs never even mentioned that it took inspiration from Uncharted. If the game was third person, then that would make more sense. But it's not, so it doesn't. I don't know. I think third party's in their, in their DNA. Who the hell is this lady in the screen? Is that Barbie? <laughs> I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. Hey. I'm actually at a loss for words right now. I, I don't even know what to say. Bro sees a woman with long hair in a pink dress and assumes it's Barbie. I mean, when you think about it, it does make sense because the only women that Jay knows are probably Barbie, his mom, and <clears throat> a certain other select group of females that I won't get into. If you know, you know. That's really all I wanted to say about that clip. I was just so dumbfounded I had to put it in. Be sure to hit like if you were dumb fat. No, I'm kidding. You be they better hope Naughty Dog don't see this shit and start promoting Uncharted 4. Because, God, that'll be petty. Why would Naughty Dog start promoting an eight-year-old game again because a game that is slightly similar in concept is coming out? You don't see Microsoft dumping into Halo marketing because Helldivers is coming out. Like, that doesn't even make sense, Jay. Just because you're petty doesn't mean Naughty Dog is. It doesn't even make sense for them to promote it. Again, it's eight years old. It's already sold all the copies it's going to, especially since it's on PC now. And plus, didn't Naughty Dog explicitly come out and say, like, we're done with Uncharted? 
started, we're moving on from it. I don't even know anymore, man. Just whatever. I guess Microsoft better watch out in case Sony decides to start promoting Uncharted 4 again for whatever reason. Every time they show the whip, they just show in a cutscene. They don't show how it actually looks when you're swinging on a whip from first person, which is probably boring as fuck. Everybody that reviews this game wants it at, whenever oh, it comes no, out. They're gonna be bitching about the first person shit. I don't think the whip is gonna be in uh, first person in between. The whip's not going to be. Oh, it's not. It's, it's gonna be like cutscene or some shit. It's, no, it's third person. It switches to third person with certain animations. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It switches to third person. You Why not just keep it? Person. That is, bro. Because you know reviewers are gonna eat this game alive because of the camera angle. Yeah, somehow I doubt all the reviewers are suddenly gonna hate this game and eat it alive because it's first person. But now we're to the point where we're just straight up lying. Either that or he just wasn't paying attention. The swinging on the whip is in third person, yes, but they showed several times throughout the trailer where you use the whip to either hit enemies, grab their guns, or trip them with it. It was all in first person and it was all actual gameplay. You are just lying now. They have shown the whip in first person. And might I say, it looks pretty cool. And again, he says, why not just keep it in third person? Two words, creative decision. The devs explain this. At the risk of sounding like a broken record, I'm gonna say it again. They make first person games, but because of cinematic elements, they wanted to make some parts third person. I guarantee the only reason you want this game to be third person is because you want it to be like Uncharted and you want to be able to say, oh, well, look at them. They're just copying Sony. God forbid machine games have their own take on temple exploration games. That Game Pass, man, is fucking up there. Um, you got game Xbox design. Game Studios, you got Machine Games, and you got Bethesda. All of y'all was given this IP. All three of you were given the IP to Indiana Jones, and this is what you decide to do. I'm telling you, man, it's that Game Pass effect, man. It cuts costs. And they still gonna keep this person. shit woke by making sure a female is beside his side every time it's a very strong one you know which is again it's not gonna be like james bond always had his love interest females they were strong but they weren't like hey i'm gonna take over the screen Indy's female sidekick appeared for like two or three shots in this entire trailer, and she never appears in any gameplay segments. What makes you think she's gonna take up the whole plot? Plus, I know you're not trying to call this game woke and saying, oh, the female protagonist is gonna take up too much, after you ate up Spider-Man 2 and said it should have won awards at the Game Awards because it was so inclusive and they tried to tick all the boxes. The hypocrisy is outstanding. Plus, Indiana Jones has always had a female female sidekick. I haven't even watched the first three movies and I know that. But putting that aside, he's like, all of y'all were given the IP and this is what you decide to do with it. I still have not heard from you what is so bad about this. All I've heard is that his cuffs don't look next gen and that the game is first person. You haven't provided any like actual criticisms of the game. What do you mean this is what they decided to do? We don't even fully know what they've decided to do yet. And then of course you have his friends screeching in the background about game pass effects affecting cutting costs because apparently being in first person instead of third person cuts a ton of costs. Thankfully, we're almost done. We have one more clip left. How much worse could this possibly get with one clip? Surely it couldn't get worse, right? That is what we call foreshadowing. They're showing a lot of beautiful um, developers, female developers and stuff. That's cool. Nope, I'm done. I'm done. I am done. I'm not going to replay the Wings clip again, but I can't take this no more, man. Bro is so down bad, he's simping for the Xbox devs live on stream. Yeah, that's it. I'm ending the video. It's just, oh, why would you say that? Some things need to be kept to yourself. I feel so dirty after hearing that. I'm going to go take a shower. But before I do, I really quickly want to thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, subscribe if you want to see more, and and I will catch you all next time.